Hey guys, anybody out there? How are y'all doing today? Say hi, Lily. <laughs> We're gonna make our favorite um, winter treat tonight. Are you excited? Yes, I'm very excited, I love it. Everyone's been asking for it since we got some snow. Um, this little one here. Say hi, Lucy. What? Say hi. Hi. Did you have fun in the snow today? Mm-hmm. Are you excited to make some candy? Yes. Okay, cool. How about you, Cade? Look, yeah. there he is. He's watching us. Facebook yeah. Live. <laughs> anyway, we're making our fav um, favorite winter treat, and it's um, snow candy, basically. It's um, something that they started making. I don't know. If you read, if you've ever read um, the Little House books, in the first book, Laura and her family, they make this candy. I, I don't know if they made it exactly the same because there's two different ways you can do it. You can make it with just maple syrup where you get it to the um, the right boiling point and then you pour it on the snow and it's kind of like a crispy candy. We like to mix it with butter and make it more like a taffy and it comes out chewy and delicious. It's so good. I yeah, it. it's really, really good. So what we're doing right now, oh, you don't want to be in it. <laughs> My little miss social media is being camera shy. Mm. <laughs> Just <in my> eye. <laughs> so, <gasps> what? The stove is popping. It scared her. It's because there's water underneath it. I didn't dry it off all the way. Um, you laughing at me too? <laughs> Mama, take shortcuts. Anyway, what we did was we took about a half a cup of real maple syrup and about two-ish tablespoons of butter and we have them here in the pot melting and we're gonna let it boil for a while and when it gets hot enough at about the softball stage then we can pour it on top of the snow and it's really cool what's your part of the video oh what are you going to do Just okay I've been instructed to set it down and Lily is going to um, do some tutorial hi, for us hi everyone I'm going to be doing the maple. Can you not? I'm going to be doing the maple candy tutorial. It's in this pot right, right now. Um, don't do that. It really ruins it. Oh my God. So you're gonna need maple syrup and some butter. I always have a lot of this around. I'm always eating it. It's just like my everyday snack. And then you're gonna need a cup or anything. You can get all this in there. You're gonna need like a cup, like you could use like anything really. It could be like a Starbucks cup, which is what I usually use. But I'm using this today because I want to look professional. And you're also going to need some snow. Um, it's like kind of a problem. Snow. Snow. If you don't have snow, it, you can't do this. So you might as well just get off. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Don't leave. I need to use. And um, yeah, so I, we have a lot of snow outside, so we're gonna be using that. And yeah, keep on watching. Lily. <laughs> All right, well, our recipe is starting to boil now. I'll let you see what it's looking like. Just bubbling away over there. You want to say hello? Hi. <laughs> I'm going to let it go a little bit longer. It takes a few minutes to get to the um, softball stage. I think the temperature is around 235. I'm looking for my thermometer. Um, but I don't know if we have it anymore because I think. All the numbers rubbed off of it because we used it. Um, this can start on here. Right. Can I start with a knife? What? Will I get shocked? Why would you get shocked? I look like a metal toaster. It's not an electric socket. Mm -hmm. Here. Okay. No, I'm like, no, um, stop, no, stop, stop, no, stop, stop. Oh my gosh. So, um, it takes a little while to get hot enough to that funny. point so I'm gonna let them kind of stir it around and in a few minutes we'll get the snow and we'll pour it right on and you'll see it instantly turn into candy and it's really really cool and I know a lot of us around the country are in the middle of snowstorms or just getting over a snowstorm so if you have snow you can do this um, but if not leave no there is a shortcut way there's a way that you can do it it doesn't come out quite I don't know, it's not as fun anyway. You can kind of cheat and put it some ice in a really good blender, like a Vitamix or something, and kind of get that fine, um, like slushy type of um, ice. 
and pour it on that, but snow works better. It's actually even really fun if you um, have enough snow and you go outside somewhere and pour it right on the snow outside. But what I usually like to do is take some kind of container, usually a long flat one, I used a big bowl this time, and put it out in the snow while it's snowing so that I get a clean catch of snow that I know nobody has touched or bugs gotten in or whatever else. And as, as always, when you do go outside to collect snow, don't get the yellow snow. <laughs> Or the brown snow. Like, I or, love the, the way brown it, snow. it goes on the snow. It's like so cool. Because it just like automatically, it it's automatically like, like hardens. Yeah. And it's cold. Yeah. It's not even like liquid right now. It's like bubbles. Yep. <laughs> it keeps going. Pretty much. Let's see. Let's see what the temperature is. Let's see. Needs to go a little longer. We're getting there though. Getting there. So while we wait, has anybody ever made snow candy? Who's out there? Have you guys ever made it? Any version of it? No? How much snow did you all get today? I think we got we got somewhere around eight inches, but we got I know like seven to eight. So yeah, around seven to eight inches here. I know it seemed like Really I know. Deep. It looked it was really deep to you guys, especially cuz uh, we don't usually get that much snow here. Yeah. Anyone want to tell me how much get, snow you got? You get like 2 inches. Anybody? Amy, I'm sure you didn't get any snow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Lynette, I know you did. Who's still there? No one likes it this way. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back. Let's see what the temperature's at. Why don't you tell them about some of your snow adventures today? Ooh, okay. So we, we, went, we went to like this big, big hill in like our area. And it's like a bunch of hills surrounding and it's like a big like pit. And like we like sledded. I keep saying like. like we kept like, sledding like, down it. And my first time sledding, I went down and I turned around. And then I started flipping all over and I thought I was like <laughs> going to die or something. But, and I did a massive face This plan. hill. I heard it was a hill. It, it was like a cliff. It was like one of those, it was like, like, you go down and it was like... It, it was almost straight it was down. Like, it looked like a lot of fun. I didn't get to try um, it because we were missing some I, gloves and boots, and I had to give them to Lily. There. When I did yeah. it, um, I went down, I started, like, spinning, and, and then the sled just, like, like, spinned, and then I just did a massive face plan. <laughs> okay, who wants to go get the bucket of snow? I'll go. Okay. I have one. I'll take it. I'll just follow you if you want. Oh, I'm going to do it. I get it. My camera skills aren't good. It's okay. <laughs> Go get the bucket. Do you see the um, container I stuck outside? Nope. It's right outside the door. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Lucy, it's locked. Oh. You got it? Yep. All right. There's my container of clean snow. Well, not anymore. Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't worry, it was only a lick. Let, let's like go over that path. It's fine. This stuff is boiling hot. It will kill any germs. Not like you don't all live together and share everything. Okay. Are we ready to pour it on? This is the fun part. Want me to video it? Yeah, here, why don't you do that for me? Okay. Do you have the bowl so they can see? Yeah. You just kind of take it and drizzle it across. And it'll make candy. And it'll just kind of instantly turn cold and into candy. Give Look at it a that sec. one. That one's already our hair. Yeah, now watch. Mm -hmm. I can take the spoon, stick it in, and we have these chunks of candy. Would you love it for longer? Yeah. Probably. Mm -hmm. It looks weird, but it's like, because it sinks down so much. Yeah. It looks like really nasty vegan bacon. True. <laughs> so true. Sorry to my vegan friends. No, sorry. <laughs> Be nice. And then, honestly, if you wanted it harder, you just boil it longer to a higher temperature. More closer to the uh, 
hardball stage. She's already in the film. Here. Pour some more in here. Yes, it's maple syrup. Yeah. Yep, maple syrup and butter. We did about around a half a cup. Yeah. It's around a half a cup of maple syrup and about two tablespoons of butter. And we boiled it to the softball stage, or you could go to the hardball stage if you wanted to. It's and then we just. Hardball. Huh? At least better at you better at hardball? Well, maybe we'll do another batch and cook it longer. He likes it a little bit harder. We like it a little bit chewier. And, I um, don't care. And then it just kind of becomes. Like. Like taffy. Kind of just... no, we definitely need to cook this longer. It's just not cooked. Like, need okay. Longer. He likes it chewier. My bad. I don't like chewy. No, it would be chewy if I could longer. Oh. So, this is something fun you guys can all try now that so many of us have snow. And, um, yeah, it, um, and we all love it. We do it every time it snows, which is usually just here only once or twice a year. Mm -hmm. So, it's a really fun treat and um, something that you and the kids can all enjoy. And it's easy, and it doesn't take a lot of ingredients. And I mean, you can whip up a whole batch in 10 minutes. And um, it's just a fun time. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope everybody goes out and makes some um, snow candy. And if you do, show, share it. Um, take a picture of it, put it on Facebook, tag me, because I wanna see what you've made. Have a great night.